have that beheading on Saturday. Ah, uh, yes. And this Sunday, we have our annual potluck with the king and queen of Toluca. How delightful! Mm. Oh, and Prince Theodore shall be there. Oh. You know he's currently unattached to a princess. Yeah, because he's gay. More tea, my dear? Ugh, whatever. Now, Britannia, we're getting closer and closer to our agreed-upon date. Mother, I know. You post scrolls in my bedroom, like, every day. Dad. And you remember our agreement. If you can't find a suitable prince by the end of the year, you I will choose, choose one, one for, for you. Me, That's no. right. But also, you are free to make any choice that your little heart desires. Oh, why are you the worst? That's why are you so wicked? You're not wicked, my dear. Thank you. Good Eve, Princess. Oh, hey, Mina. Did you get a new spinning wheel? Yeah, it's like my third one. I don't really know how they work, though. What's wrong? Is your privilege as a rich white noblewoman no longer pleasing to you? No, it's not that. It's just my dad and my wicked stepmother. They don't listen to me. I'm not interested in princes. We should go to the flaccid crossbow tonight. I don't know. All of the fair maidens will be there. OK. I do have a pretty gay dress I've been wanting to wear. Feast your eyes on these prospects. My eyes aren't hungry. Oh, look at that brooding beauty. The town poet, she practically speaks in couplets. A romantic who would thrust courtly love upon thy bosom. For I will thrust courtly love on thy bosom, bosom. For whom, if you wrong, she will document the pain that you caused her in hopes of making you a social pariah. But I'll slash the seats of thy royal carriage. Bethesda. How about Hildebrand? Her herbal remedy cured my fever last week. That is endearing. Any side effects? No. Well, sometimes when I sneeze, I do climax. That sounds awful. Nay. Now all it takes is a pinch of pepper, and I'm off to the races. Oh. Oh, God. I, I can see how that might get awkward. Yeah. What about Jessica? Hey, what's with the feudal system, right? I mean, if I wanted to give up my goods to a fat white guy, I'd just go back to whoring it. No. Mm -mm. Kisses will only get you so far. She's not bad. I can't. The bells, the props, the burlap sack, ventriloquist dummy, I, no. <laughs> okay, how about... Who, who welded together oak and ore? <laughs> oak and ore? Really? Observant, strong, for she could build you a castle with her bare hands. She makes me question my own desires. Anyone would be lucky to make her acquaintance. Seems like somebody already has her eye on that blacksmith. What? Oh, um, moving on. You'll most certainly enjoy the company of Lady Meredith. The most caring of all the maidens, and what a nurturing soul. And very familiar with female anatomy. But a known virgin. She spends all day tending to vaginas, but doesn't actually touch them. You are a hard-to-please princess. I'm sorry, but the last girl that I dated only talked to animals. I mean, I'm a little afraid to jump back into the dating moat. Okay, the last eligible maiden is that peasant over there. I'm not into waking up early or dirty fingernails. <laughs> Who is she? I don't recognize her. I can fix that. I just need a hammer, a nail, a hammer and a nail. I need a blowtorch and uh... Her slipper. Oh, don't touch it. It could be ridden with disease. A chew. And so Princess Britannia vowed to find the peasant girl. For true love had never appeared so clearly or worn such nice shoes. XOXO. No, we're not doing that. The, oh, bloody hell. 